Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and set up our view pager and as well get the reference of our bottom navigation view and add some customizations. That's what we'll be doing in this class. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing we need to do will be to define a new instance of our view pager, right? So I'm going to say view pager. So I'm going to bring in the namespace of this. So view pager, I'm going to call this view pager. So the next will be to define our bottom navigation view. So let's say bottom navigation view extension. So we're going to actually bring in the namespace for this. So I'm going to call this BMVE. So the usual way we've been doing it, we're going to create a method that we use to connect our views. So I'm going to say void connect views. Okay. So let's go ahead and say BMVE will be equal to bottom navigation view x find view by id resource dot id dot bmve so we're going to do the same thing for our view pager so our view pager will be equal to view pager find view by id bracket resource dot id dot view pager okay so guys let's go ahead and set up our view pager so when we have that we're going to say view pager dot off screen page limit because we have four pages so this is going to be three and so this fake drag is very important because sometimes when you want to swipe to a new page you can actually stop halfway and that will actually spoil your view so this fake drag method will help us to stop that okay so let's go ahead and create a new method that will set up our view pager so i'm going to call this setup view pager so this method has not been created already so let's create it so to set up our view pager we need an adapter a view pager adapter so this adapter we are going to be adding different fragments to it currently we will be needing four fragments for this particular app which are home and you rating an account so to set up our view pager, we need a fragment pager adapter. The fragment pager adapter will hold the four fragments we'll be needing for our main page. So guys, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, to define our fragment pager adapter, we need to create a new class. So let's just go ahead and create it as a helper. Because we're committed to keeping things organized, we're going to create a new folder. So we're going to call this adapter. So inside of this folder, we're going to add a new class. We'll call this view pager adapter. So let's make this public. So this class we inherit from fragment pager adapter, fragment pager adapter. So let's resolve this. Boom. So the fragment pager adapter implements an abstract class. So let's implement the abstract class. Boom. Okay, so we need to do a couple of things, all right? So first of all, we're gonna need a list of our fragments. So I'm going to say list fragment fragment. So we need to also ensure that this is a support fragment, all right? As you can see, it is not. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this explicit. Okay, so we've now made this explicit. So it's not exactly what we are talking about. So we also need a list of our fragment names. Okay, so we're going to say list of string. And this should be, and this should be fragment names. All right. The next thing we need to do will be to create a constructor. As you can see that's one of the things that is causing error here. So let's make a constructor. So we're going to say public view pager adapter. So here we're going to pass in our fragment manager. We're going to call it fragment manager. So this is going to inherit from base fragment manager. All right okay so we need to do this this way so at this point we initialize so we're gonna say fragment 
and call to I'm gonna say fragment names. We need to make this public so that we can so that it will always be accessible outside this class. So I'm going to make it a property instead. So I'm going to make a new method to help us add to our fragment. So I'm going to create a new method to help us add a new fragment and a new fragment name. So I'm going to say public void add fragment. So I'm going to pass it my fragment. And I'm going to pass it my fragment name. So at this point, we're going to say dot add fragment. And we cannot say fragment name dot add name. So this is how we add new fragment and new fragment names. So we're going to change this. I want it to be this way. Okay. Boom. So guys, this is how to set up our view pager adapter. So let's go back to our main activity and finish up. Okay. So now I'm going to say view pager adapter. View pager adapter will be equal to adapter equal to new view pager adapter and we need to pass it our support fragment manager so this will suffice now we're going to need to start adding up our fragments to the fragment pager adapter so at this point we need to create our fragment all right and each fragment must have its own layout design okay so the first thing we need to do will be to create xmls for our pages so let's go ahead and do that New item, Android layout. I'm going to call this home. So let's change this to relative layout for now. So guys, let's go ahead and design other pages, okay? So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and add our ratings page. Rating. So let's go ahead and paste this. This won't work because this is a linear layout. So this will be rating. Okay, bam. So this works. So let's go back to our home and fix it. All right. So I'm just going to say Android Gravity. I'm going to make this center. Okay, so this will suffice. So let's go ahead and create other pages. Um, we need to create the earnings page and our account page, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna call this earnings. We're gonna copy this and paste it here and change this to earnings. So let's do the same thing for our account account so create a new xml for account so we're going to go ahead and paste the same xml and change the test to account fragment all right so guys this is all we need to do here so we are done creating our xmls now it's time to create our fragment okay because we are committed to keeping things organized, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call this folder Fragment. Okay, so we're going to define all our fragments in this place. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding our fragments. Okay, so of which the first one is going to be our home fragment. So I'm going to call this home fragment. So all we need to do here is very straightforward for now. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to say view, view equal to, so I'm going to change this to home, all right? And I'm going to return view. 
So in further classes, we're actually going to be adding some other customizations here. But for now, this is all we need to do. This is very important. We need to change it to a support fragment. And this will be android.support.v4.app.fragment. So this is all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our earnings page. We need to create an earnings fragment as well. Okay. So this will be earnings fragment. So we're going to do roughly the same thing. Okay. So we paste it here. Call to. So here we're going to change this to earnings. We're going to return our view. So let's do the same thing for our ratings page. So we create a new ratings fragment. So this is going to be rating. Now I'm going to return my view as usual. So the last one is to create our accounts fragment. Just the same process, guys. Let's just go ahead and repeat it. So we're going to set our account XML and return our view. And we're done with this. So guys, let's go to let's go back to our main activity and finish up. Okay. So guys, the next thing we need to do will be to initialize our fragments. And we need our fragments to be globally available. We need to go to the top of our activity and create our fragment. So I'm going to make a new section fragment so i'm going to say home fragment so let's bring in the namespace so we're going to call this home fragment to be equal to new home fragment okay so we'll do the same thing for our rating fragment okay so let's do the same thing for earnings and lastly for our account okay so now that we have all this, let's go back to our setup view page method and finish up. So now I'm going to say adapter dot add fragment. The first one will be our home fragment. All right. Just in the order we want it to display. So I'm going to have this as the fragment name home. So the next one will be adapter dot add fragment. I'm going to pass it our earnings fragment. So the third one will be adapter to add fragment and we'll just add our ratings fragment. And this is going to be the last one or account fragment. All right. Boom. So the last thing we're going to do is to say view pager dot adapter. So we need to assign this adapter as our view pager adapter. So this is going to be equal to adapter. Alright, okay guys, so we successfully created our view pager adapter.